watching KSG News Explainer. In this video, we are going to talk about satellite navigation program. Source for the content is the Times of India. Recently, an indigo plane flew into history while landing at Rajasthan's Kishangarh airport near Ajmer. This was the first time a landing was affected using an indigenously developed satellite-based augmentation system, that is SBAS, that provides three-dimensional navigation guidance to aircraft. With ISRO's Gagan, that is GPS-aided geo-augmented navigation, India has become the first country in the Asia-Pacific to successfully develop such a system for aviation use. Gagan is the acronym for GPS-aided geo-augmented navigation. It uses a constellation of satellites and a network of ground stations to provide necessary augmentations to the GPS Standard Positioning Service, that is SPS navigation signal for use in air traffic management. The ground stations strategically position across the country are used to collect GPS satellite data on aircraft position and movement. Using this information, the Master Control Center generates messages to correct any signal errors. These corrected messages are then uplinked and broadcast through geostationary communication satellites to receivers on board aircraft using the same frequency as GPS. Gagan is designed to provide accuracy and integrity necessary to enable reliance on GPS for all phases of flight from en route through approach for all qualified airports within the covered zone. It will also provide increased accuracy in position reporting of aircraft, allowing for more uniform and high-quality air traffic management. Gagan offers almost the same accuracy as a ground-based landing system comprising antennae and beacons that uh, transmit signals to aircraft to help pilots land. It will enable aircraft to land even at smaller and regional airport not equipped with expensive ground-based landing systems. Gagan can bring benefits in terms of saving fuel and equipment cost, flight safety, especially in adverse weather conditions and increased airspace capacity, according to ISRO. Other than Gagan, there are only three space-based augmentation systems in the world. US, that is WAS, Europe, that is EGNOS, and Japan, that is MSAS. Gagan is interoperable with all three. Its footprint extends from Africa to Australia and has expansion capability for seamless navigation services across the region. Though primarily meant for aviation, Gagan will provide benefits to many other user segments such as intelligent transportation, maritime, highways, railways, surveying, geodesy, security agencies, telecom industry, personal users of position, location applications, etc. That's it for this explainer. Thank you so much for watching. To join KSG India courses and to crack the ICE exam, visit ksgindia.com. You can also get a PDF of this explainer on ksgindia.com. Thanks for watching.